Brussels launched a staggering attack on Boris Johnson this morning, as it accused the UK to playing into Vladimir Putin's hands with new Brexit legislation. European Commission Vice President Maro Sefcovic criticised Britain for the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill currently passing through Parliament. Calling the legislation illegal, he said the Prime Minister was undermining UK-EU relations in the middle of the Ukraine war. His remarks will do little to ease tensions between London and Brussels. The new Brexit legislation will give ministers the power to overrule aspects of the Northern Ireland Protocol, introduced as part of the Brexit withdrawal agreement in 2019. Ministers say they have been left with no choice but to take action to protect the integrity of the United Kingdom in the face of issues caused by the treaty. Lashing out at the government, Mr. Sefcovic said this morning, Given the challenges we face, including Russia's invasion of Ukraine, rising energy prices and pressures on the cost of living, it is more important than ever to strengthen Western unity. Stable, positive, even strategic relationship based on international agreements we have signed and ratified is in our mutual interest. We need cooperation and action to strengthen our bond and bring it to the qualitative level it deserves. His comments were made on the same day the UK offered Ukraine a further £1 billion in support to help fight Russia, bringing the total military and economic support to £3.8 billion this year. President Volodymyr Zelensky has repeatedly praised Britain for its leadership in standing up against Putin and the Kremlin. He said earlier this month, the war highlights who is our friend or friends is not just strategic friends, but real friends now. And I believe Great Britain is a friend. Arms, money, and sanctions, these are three things in which Great Britain consistently demonstrates its leadership. The Northern Ireland Bill was backed by MPs in its second reading in the House of Commons earlier this week. MPs voted by 295 to 221 in favour of the legislation continuing to move forward in Parliament despite some Conservative backbenchers, including former Prime Minister Theresa May, joining Labour in parroting the EU's criticism of the plan. They said the UK would be breaking international law by unilaterally changing the implementation of the protocol and urged ministers to resume negotiations with Brussels. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has rejected the allegations saying there is strong legal justification for the legislation in the face of the problems being caused by the treaty. The UK has been holding talks with Brussels since October on trying to find a negotiated solution to the protocol but has failed to find a breakthrough. Ms Truss said on Monday that the UK remained committed to trying to find a compromise with the EU and that the European Commission needed to be more accommodating in talks. Mr Sefcovic today accused Ms Truss of failing to return to negotiations and said there was serious concern in Brussels about the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill. This was done despite our offer to return to the discussion table and seek joint solutions, which has been met by radio silence from the UK since February, he said. Such unilateral action is quite simply illegal. It is a breach of international law and is extremely damaging to mutual trust and respect between the EU and the UK. It is not for London to unilaterally change the game. Commenting on the above issue, someone said, I wonder if the EU is trying to shift the blame and muddy the waters after all they are pumping billions into Russia every week if that's not helping Putin what is. Trying to blame Boris seems like pure panic, they must know he will move ahead and use the legislation and to be honest, what can they do any harsh reaction is going to cost them. How about you? What do you think about the above issue? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and let's talk. If you find the video good, please don't regret one like and share them. Goodbye and see you in the next videos, thank you.